She was born totally blind, uh, but they didn't know why. They did exploratory surgery and found out she had no optic nerves. But when they put her eyes back in, some nerve tissue wrapped around the back of the eyeball and gave her partial sight. Up until she was six years old, I didn't know the difference. She wore glasses, but that was the only thing that was different about her. She did everything that we did, and anything anybody did, she would do. So she never let it get her down. Mom and my sister had been to the eye doctor, and they came home and announced to us that Sis was going to have to continue her education at the Indiana School for the Blind. All I remember is pulling up, and there's this big, huge tower, and it looks like a castle. And I thought it was so cool, you know, she was going to get to go here. But years later, it dawned on me what was going on, that here was a six-year-old girl being dropped off by her family. And I can't to this day imagine what she was going through. Then as she got into school later on, she started to get involved in more things. She, she became a cheerleader. She got into swimming on the swimming team. She became athletic. She learned to play clarinet. So. Everything that she wanted to do, she did. That was the amazing thing, was nothing ever stopped her. She took her skill set beyond the School for the Blind, uh, had a calling to be a teacher, pursued that, uh, taught in public school for a couple years, and then came back to the School for the Blind as a teacher, and then got into coaching. She always demanded uh, excellence from her athletes. If you, if you talk to her athletes, they talk about, you know, that uh, they, they, had to, they had to know what they were doing, whether it was a field event or a running event, and they had to commit to the training. Her teams won with her coaching a lot of uh, uh, conference championships. So yeah, the first time I met Janet was at one of the Ron and John shows, and that was the dart and billiards and that was held at Chalkies. And I said, well, I'm not very good at, I'm not very good at darts. And she was like, well, geez, how bad can you be? I'm blind. Surely you can beat me. When we went to England, one of the silliest things we ever did, and it, I mean, it was fun. We went to a haunted castle and stayed two nights. She was a good person. She was a very good listener. Of course, she was good at giving you her opinion as well. You know, you could tell Janet anything. I knew that if I needed to talk to her, I could get her. Didn't matter what time. She once told me that she was born fighting for her life and she would just keep fighting her whole life. And that's what she did.